Hey, Chef Christian here for another episode of The Hot Skillet. You know, when asked what is your favorite cut of beef, and you know, most people would think that I would say something like ribeye or New York strips or something like that, but actually, and I think a lot of people uh, from outside of the US would agree with me, the best part of a cow, hands down, absolutely, is the tongue. That's right, cow tongue is a delicacy all around the world, it's my absolute favorite part of the cow, and over here I'm gonna show you my favorite recipe with beef tongue. So you don't wanna miss this, stay tuned. <clears throat> So let's jump right into this recipe. I'm very excited for you. Like I said, one of my favorites. And uh, once you try this dish, you will fall in love with tongue if you're not already a big fan. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken a beef tongue and I've put it in my pressure cooker. Pressure cooked it for 50 minutes. So, you know, from here forward, we're gonna carry out the recipe. If you wanna know more about how to pressure cook a tongue, I have another video in my how-to video section and that explains step-by-step step what to do, all right? So if you wanna watch that, it's on my Roku channel, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's on foodchaintv.com, all right? So let's go through the list of ingredients today. All right, so our ingredients are a little bit of port, some water, a whole bunch of white sliced mushrooms, we have about three small onions julienne, we have a big handful of fresh chopped parsley, four garlic cloves minced, now over here I have a little bit of white rice flour. Now I'm, the only reason I'm not using regular flour is because I want to make this dish gluten free. Okay, so we're going to use white rice flour for this dish instead of traditional flour which contains gluten. Alright, salt, pepper, olive oil, away we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to peel a beef tongue. Okay, now a beef tongue has an actual layer of skin around it that's pretty tough so you have to remove that when you start working with the tongue all right so if you've pressure cooked it properly and you've cooled it so that it's you know cool to the touch you can actually handle this tongue what I'm gonna do here is just show you how oh let me put a little rag here to soak up some of that juice this skin should come right off just like that okay there we go so underneath that is some really, really nice meat. Okay, and yeah, this is pretty easy to do. If the skin doesn't come off this easily, you probably didn't cook it properly or you didn't cook it long enough. Okay, this thing is pretty hot still. So I'm trying to not burn my fingers here. All right, so that skin came off very quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this into you can cut it into slices cubes you know I'm just gonna say cut it into smaller pieces whatever your preference may be okay so I'm gonna cut this into segments here and just slice it okay into my bowl it goes Wow, right, here we go, our bowl of beef tongue, and now we are ready to start on this recipe. All right, so I have a skillet here, nice and hot. I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. There we go. And I'm gonna start sauteing my onions. Now, I'm not gonna add the uh, parsley and the garlic just yet. I like to cook the onions a little bit first. You know, garlic can burn a little bit too quickly, so I like to do the onions beforehand. Okay, a little fresh ground pepper. All right, now I've cooked these onions for a few minutes, I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Okay, now I'm gonna add the garlic and the parsley. It's always best to use fresh parsley if you can. If you don't have any fresh parsley, you can use dry, but this recipe really will turn out a lot better if you use the fresh stuff. Okay, 
And I wanna cook this until those mushrooms start releasing a lot of the water that's in them. All right, so see all this liquid evaporating off the mushrooms? This is what you wanna see. All right, actually, I'm gonna turn on my exhaust fan here. All right, so the onions are nice and soft. The mushrooms have let go of a lot of that water and it's just all evaporating. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this port and just uh, deglaze the pan with it. Okay, so just a little bit, maybe an ounce or two, that's enough. Port is pretty strong, so you don't wanna use too much of it. All right. Now, in something like this, we wanna make a sauce, and normally you would use a beef stock, but if you watched my how to cook a beef tongue in a pressure cooker video, you will know that the best beef stock, absolutely the best beef stock, comes from pressure cooking a tongue. So, I'm gonna take this out here. This is my pressure cooker insert. And you'll see all this nice stock in here. Okay, and this is actually what I'm gonna use to make this sauce. It's gonna be out of this world. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so about five cups of this stock. There we go. Okay, put this over to the side. Wow. Okay, got a taste for salt. Now this stock that I make is pretty salty, so I may not need to add salt. Wow, that is good. <laughs> Okay, so remember I said we're gonna need to thicken this? So, we're gonna use the white rice flour. We're not gonna use regular flour. So, to do this, I'm just gonna mix um, a slurry. Definition of a slurry, water plus starch is a slurry. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of water here and I'm gonna mix it in with the uh, powder. Let me get the camera on this. Let's put a little water, just mix it around. Okay, a little more. Okay, once you know the consistency of a slurry, it's kind of like paste, remember when you were in kindergarten and you played with paste? Well, it's that consistency. So, here we go. I'm gonna add this into my sauce and that'll thicken it. Okay, you don't wanna over thicken it. So, you know, just add a little, mix it in there. And if after a minute or so it's not as thick as you want it, you just add a little more. And don't worry if you think you screwed up and put too much slurry in there and it's too thick. Just take some more stock and put it in there and water it down. We're not baking here, okay? Cooking is very off the cuff. There's usually a way to fix all the mistakes that you make. So, relax. It's gonna work out. All right, so see how nice and thick it's getting? I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna let that simmer for just a couple of minutes, just so that starch has room to expand and set. All right, and then I'm gonna add my tongue. Okay, so in goes the tongue. Make sure all of my meat is coated with that really nice sauce. All right, so I'm just gonna cook this out for another 10 minutes and then it'll be ready to plate. All right, so the tongue is ready to be plated and I'm gonna show you what I like to do is I take a bowl of hot, steamy garlic mashed potatoes and I love to just serve it on top of that. It's one of my favorite meals. It always reminds me of being back home when I was a kid and uh, you know my mom would make this for us on special occasions and it was amazing. So here we go.
This to me is a bowl of happiness. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe and next time you come across a beef tongue, do not be scared. Try this out. You will love it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on Roku, please watch our other channels. We have our how-to videos. We have on the cutting board and of course the hot skillet. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions help me make more videos. Thanks for watching.